Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to draw an isometric circle versus a regular circle. So if you've switched over to the isometric plane in AutoCAD, you'll notice that you cannot use just the regular circle button in the top ribbon. You need to draw an isometric circle. So there's a specific way to do this and it's a little bit tricky to figure out, but today we're going to go over how to do it, so let's get into it. Alright, so before we get started, we need to make sure we have the isometric view plane uh, up. And right now, as you can see, it's just the regular 2D uh, bird's eye AutoCAD view. So to get the isometric plane up, we're going to go down here. And we're going to click this little button. It says ISO draft for isometric drafting. We're going to click it. And as you can see, it brings up the isometric view. Now, there is a square already. And that is kind of just to give an example of how to draw the isometric circle. But when I come up here and click circle, I come down. And as you can see it gives me a regular circle. It's not giving me this isometric uh, style circle that I want. So what we're going to do is instead of hitting the circle button, we're going to come over here to the ellipse button, which is right here. We're going to drop down, and then we want to make sure we're on the axis end. So when we're going to click that, and then we're going to come down here. Before we do anything else, you're going to come down to the bottom command bar, and you're going to see it's giving you three options, arc, center, and iso circle. So you can either type ISO circle in, or you can click it like this, and now you are ready to create an ISO circle. So we're going to create one right in the center here of this square. We're going to bring it out. Like that. And as you can see now, I have created an ISO circle. So again, you can use this to create a cylinder. You can uh, use it to create um, a couple other things, right? But it is part of the isometric drawing and you cannot use the regular circle function. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. I know it was extremely quick. I know it was short, but hopefully you were able to learn how to create an isometric circle. Uh, if you like the channel, please consider subscribing below. If you thought the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see anything else isometric related or just AutoCAD related in general, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a good rest of their day.